It's the next morning. Everyone appears to be good. They're all pretty hyperjack. Got the barn open here. Let's see if we can get them out. Ooh, easy boy. Ow. Get off me. So, everyone, he's good. 27 out of 27. Let's see if we can get him to follow me out here. Come on. Ugh. Come on. Oh, yeah, everyone's in good spirit today. Okay. Whoa. Okay. All right, easy now. Easy now. Everyone's doing good. All right, let me get everybody out of the barn so I can start feeding. What I do for feeding this morning is do like a round robin of sorts. So I'm going to put them all outside because it's nice out. Okay. I'm going to push them all out. And then I'll feed them, bring them in that door that's closed, feed them, push them back into the pen in the barn, and just kind of that way I can keep track and get it done. It should make life a little easier. Oink, oink. Fun, nasty, whatever that stuff is. Um, so I'm going to push all these stragglers out. Uh, right now, there's a few left in here, just kind of straggling. Yeah, I'll get them out, and then uh, I'll start doing more feeding in yeah, another day. All right, y'all. Time to get up. Time to get out. Get up and get out. Come on. Let's do this. Come on, get up.
right, so we're just feeding here, letting them in this door, and then I'm putting them back in here. I got two done. Just gonna feed them. Everyone's doing so good. No issues whatsoever. I got one with a little bit of loose stool. Um, so we'll just probably crack an egg in his bottle. Just kind of st stiff him up. Okay, easy. It's always better with the second feeding there. Usually knew the pro they know the program and they just jump right on it. And these handles, these balls with handles are great for this. So let me keep doing this. I'll see you in a second. All right. Um, so I'm still feeding him. So those who joined paint, uh, Patreon, I want to thank you. Uh, that's uh, next level support. And uh, I really do appreciate it. Um, I'm going to start doing um, some behind the scenes and extra stuff for the Patreon um, members. Um, again, it's... No one has to do it. It's just another, another uh, level of support for the channel. Um, there will be some extra content there and probably um, coming up next couple weeks, there'll be an extra video there a week that won't be on uh, YouTube uh, just for Patreon members. Um, like I said, just check it out. You know, I'll still appreciate each and every one of you without it. Um, just another way of uh, supporting the channel and kind of keeping everything rolling here. Um, so far, so good. We got, I don't know, one, two, three, eight fed. Just kind of cruising along here. Um, once they uh, kind of learn what to do, um, it's really easy. And actually, these bottles here with a handle, some of you can see that. These are amazing because it doesn't hurt your wrist. You just hang on to it. And uh, they just, uh, it just makes life easy. You don't have to try to, your wrist doesn't get all cramped up. Um, but anyway, uh, yeah, I'm going to keep feeding here. And then we'll have a little powwow about the thousand sub. And all the other cool stuff. And then we got to pick a few out here to put in the weaning program. So we'll probably do that. And then, uh, yeah. So what do you all think, though? What's your favorite type of calf here? I know I like the jerseys because I just like them. Um, what's your favorite? Let me know in the comments below. Are you a Holstein person? Angus? Jersey? you like crosses? you like limousine? What is it? I just want to hear what you all are raising and what your favorite is and why. Um, all right. I'm going to get back to feeding here. All right, everyone is good. Everyone is fed. I noticed no new problems so far. Great group of calves. Uh, I think I'm going to end this video here. It's probably going to be shorter. I don't really hey, look at that. Look at all the slime. Um, all in all, one great. Uh, I hope you all are enjoying these uh, these videos. I got a lot of new subscribers, and uh, I, I hope you appreciate that my channel is a little bit different. Um, I'm clearly not a generational farmer, and I clearly don't have big fancy buildings or calf barns or anything like that um but it does go to show you that you can you know if you have a dream you can do it you don't necessarily need 300 acres a bunch of pole barns a bunch of barns a bunch of this or that you can use what you have um you know there might be some of you that want to get into this that you know you think well i only have 10 15 however many acres i only have a small outbuilding whatever you can make it work um you just got to figure it out and you got to kind of just start because you can do a lot of this stuff on paper and you can do a lot of it like in your head, but you just got to kind of start somewhere. So give me a little words of wisdom here. Um, tomorrow there'll be two videos. It'll be this one. Or well, it's not going to be tomorrow for you. It'll be today. Um, this video and then the um, thousand subscriber uh, entry video. So hope everyone's doing great. Calves are good. Um, tomorrow's video will pick up at night, tonight, feeding these and kind of keeping you <coughs> excuse me keeping you updated on these calves that we're doing i'm gonna pick some out tomorrow to separate uh, for the weaning so we'll be doing that tomorrow so i kind of share the process with that but uh i'm gonna take a break drink some coffee and i uh, will see you all later